So I had my CNN Heroes script, and I was really cold, and Mark had built a beautiful fire. You were at your home. I was, I was at, we were at our home. And he built a beautiful fire, and I just couldn't get warm enough, so I am like a human cat, you know, and I've never met a fireplace I didn't want to crawl into, so I always <laughs> curl up right in front of the fireplace and get nice and cozy. And Mark was reading his Riverdale script on the sofa. And he said to me, you don't look comfortable. Do you want a pillow? And I said, no, that's OK. And, um, and I turned around. I just turned around, because I was facing the fireplace. And I turned around so I could like lean on my other shoulder. And I put my script on the coffee table. And the glass from the, the, the glass barrier that sort of you know keeps the you know, the flames from coming out of the fire, exploded and shattered everywhere. And I have... I, we the second you turn, yeah, it exploded. there it is. That's the video. Um, wow. I That's wish, crazy. You know, it, the glass went everywhere. If you were... I mean, seriously, if you were facing that, that no, would have really hurt that you. That would have been in my yeah. face. Yeah, it was like a... It's a miracle. I don't know what else it's to call it. It's a Christmas miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. Um, but... Here's... Here is, this were you were like were, did did was your shirt the singed? back of my the back of my I will say this this is what really bothered me more than anything more than the carpet being set on fire um, was that my Madonna concert T-shirt had five holes in it. <gasps> it's okay. Oh, wait, this is us cleaning. We did not know how to clean up. Guard, guard, I guess it's called. Yeah. That's too hot. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know if you could tell I was pretty stressed out at that point. But, so, did your kids? I mean, come running? Shockingly, no. Um, <laughs> Wait a minute. There's an explosion of glass in your house, and you, they don't. You understand? They were they had ordered in sushi, and they didn't want it to get warm. I guess <laughs> so. This explodes, and I think, because my back is to the fireplace, and it explodes, and I think that we've been shot. I think, that, I don't right, know yeah. what happened, right. because I scream, and Mark screams, and <laughs> there's a moment where the carpet's on fire, and we are staring at each other like, are you hit? And you're like, <laughs> are you hit? <laughs> By what? You know, and I'm like, are we alive? Are we living? And so, and so we don't know. We don't know what to do, and you don't know what to do, right? So you're standing there, and I take my CNN Hero script, which really serves so many purposes, <laughs> and I start, because the carpet's on fire, and I don't know what to do, I take the burning pieces of glass, and I just sort of flick it back into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> right? There's like flaming glass in the Christmas tree, but I'm like. But you, let me, ask, right? let me just understand. You're using a piece of paper to flick Wait, did you, flaming Should pieces. I have used my bare hands? Well, I don't I just think I something metal maybe I, or non-flammable is what I was Which thinking. is when we ran down to get the cookie sheets. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Because yes. at that point, Cookie sheets yeah. made sense. You know, this is... This, this is... You don't right. understand. Your brain goes into another, the fifth dimension, I like to call it. We got sleds. Sleds, good. Sleds. Oh, good, yes. <laughs> cookie sheets is... By the way, this is a good thing for everybody at home. You should always have cookie sheets and sleds. Yeah, so this is... Standing us. by we are near running. the fireplace. We're running like this. Mark and I are running past the... Past to, the, Lola's not in the house, so Lola is out of this. The boys are Wait, sitting there. I'll be and Mark. We're like, Mark's like, get the sled. Get the sled. No, no, no. Get the cookie sheet. And he gets, get the cookie sheet. And he gets... And he gets... He gets the fire extinguisher, and he comes upstairs. I have cookie sheets. We have gloves. We have slippers. The boys are now enjoying their second course of sushi. Mark goes... Pull pin. <laughs> Hold at six feet, six to eight feet away from... And he goes, hold the cookie sheets in front of the fireplace because we don't want any of the broken glass to fly. And I go, hang on. Does that sound right to you? <laughs> so now I go, nobody do anything. Nobody do anything. And I run back downstairs and I say to the boys, 
if you won't mind helping us for a second. <laughs> I don't know if you heard, but the fireplace exploded. Oh, is that what that was? <laughs> we heard? Now, this is what my 20-year-old, who is home from college, says. We heard a loud crash and a scream, but we didn't really think much of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good to know. That sounds like a teenager. Yeah. yeah. That I sounds was, like a jaded New it York teenager. It sounds like a teenager, yeah. but he's 20, <laughs> so he's a grown-up. Right, they're like, uh, what was that? Was that did mom you, screaming hey, did and the glass you hear exploding? Mom scream and an explosion? Can you pass the edamame? <laughs>